Hi everyone. In today's video, I want to discuss options on how to clean up the 3D printer printing bed, or specifically the glass bed for the Ender 3. So I went ahead and did some online research. And based on the information I found, there are kind of a three options. Uh, some people say only use soap and water. I guess this is more for like a light uh, cleanup. And if, if your bed is not uh, really dirty and doesn't have a lot of leftover PLA residue, uh, like I do right now, uh, we'll talk about this in a little bit. Uh, the other option is uh, you can use a regular glass cleaner. Uh, I also saw that some recommend using the uh, IPA rubbing alcohol. Um, I even went ahead and kind of dug more into it and some do recommend to use the 91%. Um, I do have the 70% here. Uh, I don't think it's gonna matter much. So this is what I'm gonna be using. And the reason you see the uh, paper towel and the uh, microfiber cloth is these leave kind of a residue uh, behind. So for the very last bit, I'm going to use the microfiber cloth to make sure that there is no paper towel residue left on the 3D printing bed. Okay, so based on all the information I have so far, for a light cleanup, I think water and soap will do the trick. Uh, unless you have a little bit more uh, PLA left after that, then I would say go ahead and use uh, rubbing alcohol, which I'm going to do here. Um, the, the leftover PLA here is the reason for having the bed too close to the nozzle. So the leveling was incorrect here. And uh, you can see like there is a little bit of a PLA left over here that I'm going to try to clean up. Um, I think if you if that doesn't work, then I did also see some that recommended cleaning the bed while it's heated. Is I'm just gonna rinse it uh, a little bit soap and water, and then I'm gonna use the rubbing alcohol and see how that works. If 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 needed, I might go and uh, go ahead and heat it up and clean it clean it while it's uh, heated on the on the printer. Um, so that that'd be like the last step I would do if needed. Uh, also, you might want to be careful with this. There's a kind of a layer of coating on top of this bed and you don't want to scratch or damage the, uh, the, the top layer of your, of your bed. Okay, so I went ahead and ran this under water with some like soap and warm water. The next is I'm going to use some paper towel and the uh, rubbing alcohol um, to kind of give it another cleanup. And uh, the last bit is um, I might need to kind of heat up the bed and see if I can get the last bit out. Um, but I think the rubbing alcohol will, will take care of it. This is what happened when you have the nozzle too close to the bed, which was my mistake. I think I did not level the bed correctly. By the way, let me know if the audio is any better. Um, last time when I posted the podcast episode, um, some of you, and thank you for the feedback, uh, some of you gave me a feedback about the audio and I'm trying to improve that. So. I'm really working on that and I'm also working on the video quality. Um, let me know if this is any better. Thanks again for the feedback. So yeah, I'm just gonna keep kind of trying to get this out. I think that's that's kind of the best way. And then the last step, I think I can take it to the printer, heat it up, and then clean it while it's heated. We'll see if that's necessary. All right, so for the last bit here, I went ahead and I heated the bed to 70 degree. Uh, 
some do recommend 80. I've seen some that says between 50 and 80. I went ahead with 70 degrees and uh, we'll see. This is kind of, I didn't think I will need this step. Uh, the bed is kind of clean enough to print on right now. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I wanted to go ahead and show it. And um, so you guys have the information and also um, see if this is really better. Um, keep in mind that the heat makes the alcohol uh, evaporate very quickly. Um, but I'm going to try to kind of do this real quick here. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll just give it a final clean up here. Then I'm going to switch to the microfiber cloth to make sure that I can get rid of the paper towel residue if there is any. So I went ahead and kind of cleaned it up with the microfiber cloth. I think this is very good for now. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, re-level the bed and make sure it's correctly leveled and test it out and see how it works. Um, by the way, if you're in the market for a new uh, bed, this, is, uh, this one is on sale right now. Uh, on Amazon, there is a good discount. I think it's like $14 right now. So I highly recommend it. Um, this used to be, I think, 24. I think now you can get it for 14. So, um, yeah, if you're in the market, I think it's it's probably worth getting the discount. 